guys, welcome back. Today we are in Seoul, South Korea and this is Gwangjang Market, the go-to spot in Seoul for all foodies. There's a very exciting atmosphere in the air. Let's go check out what's good to eat. First up, right at the entrance of the market area, um, there is a dedicated dumpling store and it's actually full of people inside so we're going to try some dumplings. Which is your most popular? Shrimp dumplings! So let's give it a go. Okay, so we have here shrimp dumplings. Instead of the typical dumpling uh, shape, they've just been wrapped in dumpling skin and I think there's like a, a whole shrimp in there and looks what looks like some chives or spring onions. Let's try. Mm. Oh, so fresh. Mm. Mm. Let's try. Mm. Actually, I have mint and fruit. Nice. Mm, very nice. Mm, this Korean soy sauce is very light. It's got a very delicate taste. I love it. Mm. Hello. <laughs> Pickle already is. Yeah, very nice. Skin very thin. Mm. Yeah, thin skin is always the mark of a good dumpling in Asia. Mm. A little bit sourish, I think. I think it's maybe, maybe some the sauce. vinegar? Maybe Soy vinegar. sauce vinegar? Yeah. Yeah. Very mm. nice, yeah? Um, in this market, there seems to be this whole row of shops. On this row, it seems like most of the stalls are actually selling the same menu. And they're all very well patronized. <laughs> Suppose the same good recipes work. <laughs> Whichever stall you're at. Okay, so we settled down at this place and we're going to be very adventurous and take four dishes from this one shop. like a disturbance test just to make sure that the octopus is alive okay very much alive very much alive oh my god You can see um, this nice lady chopping up the tentacles and they're still moving around. I'm not sure how I feel about the upcoming tasting experience. <laughs> okay, so this is the dish of uh, live octopus. This cost us 15,000 won, which is about 15 sing dollars. Um, and as you can see, the whole point of it is that the tentacles are still moving. So you apparently have to chew them really thoroughly before you swallow, otherwise they might get stuck in your esophagus and like you die of choking. <laughs> I'm scared, so Vitali is gonna try the octopus. <laughs> Always wanna try it. Okay. Ooh, how is it? How is it? How is it? Like sashimi? 
Is it moving on your tongue? It was very small pieces. I don't feel it's moving. Okay, I will try a little bit bigger. This sauce and seaweed. Yeah, okay. okay. Go. You can feel this try to suck to your tongue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The suction pads, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's interesting, but tastes very nice. It's like, just like sashimi. <laughs> <This too. laughs> I chew quite a long time, but it's still moving. He's got to chew it carefully, otherwise <laughs> we might lose him. <laughs> if something's happened, I love you. Hey! <laughs> I'm alive. Oh my god, you can still see it wiggling around on the plate. This piece especially seems very, very active, so that's not going to be my first piece. <laughs> You'll take something small and slightly less active. Okay, this looks very small and innocuous. Oh, crap. It seems very slimy. Okay, can you see? So I've got a bit of seaweed, a bit of sauce and a small piece of tentacle that doesn't seem so active. <laughs> okay, I will chew. I think the piece I have has no suction pads. So it's just like, it's just like Japanese octopus sashimi. Very nice. Mm. That makes me feel bolder. Hmm? Okay, let's try. Mm. So it's got all this like, I think sesame oil and sesame seeds on the raw octopus thing. And I think <coughs> that gives it a very, very nice sesame sea flavor. Okay, this one seems terribly active. Oh no. Go. It's very, very active. Right, go, go. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I'm going, I'm going. This one's got suction pads. Oh, it's so weird. It's so weird. Oh, God. Okay, food that moves while you're trying to eat it is very weird. Okay, I was a bit nervous before trying this, but actually it's very nice, very nice. But good chewing. <laughs> Take a guess, what is this? Pig skin! Cost us 10,000 won for this plate. This should be very good too, very excited. Ooh. I think there's some kind of like red Korean sauce on it. Probably spicy. Let's go. Mm. Mm. It's got a very thick, porky, broiled flavour. Very nice. The sauce, the gravy has a lot of uh, flavour in it. I like it. <laughs> really true. Very really thick. Hopefully full of collagen. I need collagen. <laughs> Nice. But I love sauce. It's not spicy, it's a little bit sweet. Comforting. So far this requires more chewing than the octopus sashimi bits. <laughs> okay, the quintessential Korean delicacy, topoki, Korean rice cakes, uh, in their spicy, I think, gochujang sauce. Okay, this is always good. Love it. Um, this costs 3,000 as well. Famous topoki. Is this their national dish or something? <laughs> look good. It does look very good. Yeah, very fatty. Very gigantic. Okay. As usual, smothered in red gochujang sauce. Very big. Mm. Mm. It's just very warm, soft, chewy. Oh. Mm. Okay, the real stuff in Korea definitely rocks the package stuff you buy overseas. This is so soft and fresh, very nice. Mm. Okay. 
This is the Korean fish cake soup. So it was on the stick, they took it off, chopped it up, put it in some broth. This cost 3,000 Korean won and it looks and smells very good. Yay! So I'm really looking forward to this, you know. I think uh, generally super spicy things is not my style. <laughs> but uh, this looks very nice and comforting. Uh, Korean fish cake in some broth. We will make some meat for you in a sec. I think I think you're close to here. Mmm. Love. <laughs> very nice. Mm. And of course in Korea we cannot escape to try gimbap. Very famous. This will be our first gimbap since we're in Korea, <laughs> actually. Um, so like bits of rice, a little bit of a maybe marinated carrot perhaps, uh, wrapped in seaweed, sprinkled with sesame seeds. They say here have some wasabi sauce. Yeah, it's, it's going. Mm. Yeah, very really nice. Wasabi sauce, very wasabi. Yeah. But I guess it's raw wasabi, not some powder. Very, very nice, very fresh. Mayat Gimbap at Guangzhang Market is such an institution that apparently even Gordon Ramsay enjoyed this delicacy when he visited back in 2017. Okay, so we've had like uh, five different dishes here at one stall. But I actually, I think along this whole row, um, the, there are maybe like about eight stalls and they seem to be all selling a similar menu. So you can just kind of like pick one that looks kind of like good and popular, what, what you like, and sit down and you can try like, you know, however many dishes you want at that same place. But now we're gonna finish up this uh, five small little plates and then uh, move on to try more other things. I'm excited. <laughs> Now I get it. So actually the different lanes have different stalls and when they're all in a row, they sell similar things. But actually the different lanes, the different stalls have a different menu. <laughs> so this one is more concentrated on assorted pancakes and like fresh seafood sashimi, including the live octopus. Over there, it was more of the topoki and pig skin and uh, gimbap stuff that we ate. <laughs> I finally scored a hot yolk. Yeah, so I've uh, seen this on TV and uh, we've all been told about this. This is supposed to be very, very good. And it's quite interesting, they give you in a cup. So I think that's easy to eat. Um, this one's got like cinnamon, nut, grain, and brown sugar in it. And then it's covered in a uh, soy powder. Mm. 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 Very nice, very nice. Mmm. Yeah, very nice. Cinnamon taste. Chewy, eh? Mmm. Less chewy than topoki. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> this is basically a sweet snack, which is always my thing. I like it. Mmm. Mm. Happy! <laughs> So these 
mung bean pancakes are supposed to be like a thing here at this market and there are so many different vendors. I don't know, there must be like, I don't know, 30 vendors selling the pancakes, so it's very hard to choose. We ended up here, but like as Vitali said, I think uh, this uh, Ajuma is quite famous because like she's been on TV and there are posters of her here. Well, let's try mung bean pancakes. <clears throat> so, right, I'm gonna dip in a bit of sauce and What? It smells strange. Strange. Okay. Mm. Very interesting. I think, I think this is a meal unto itself. It's going to be very filling. I don't know what to say. Mm. <laughs> strange. Crispy. Like the name suggests, it's made with mung bean. <laughs> and then they deep fry it. Nice consistency. It's very interesting taste. Oh, we got this too. Chili and crab sticks. Okay. It's some uh, big chili and inside uh, I guess it's some uh, mince. But let's try it. Mm. Interesting. I think it's inside some cheesy stuff. A little bit salty. Yeah, very interesting. They look big and spicy, but I hope they are not spicy. <laughs> so these uh, chilies go with a bit of this uh, nice, very soy, uh, nice soy sauce mixture. Mm. So they're stuffed peppers. Not quite sure what's in the center, but it's quite nice. Mm. So you've got a nice long green pepper that's been emptied out in the center and stuffed with uh, some kind of stuffing, maybe meat, maybe cheese. And then they dipped it in egg and they deep fried it on the outside. Ooh. Not spicy, quite tasty. <laughs> okay, here goes with the crab sticks. Fried in egg with some veggies. <laughs> I think it's like long beans or green beans packed with crab sticks in a line and then fried with egg. It's quite nice. Mm -hmm. This is nice stuff because she put an egg and let it fry because without egg it looks like this. How do you guys say that? Yeah. And like this, look after she cooked for us. I will eat one more. Mm. <laughs> I think Korea is a heaven for like, especially people who like savory snacks, because a lot of the taste profiles of the food is not the sweet side, it's the savory side. But it's very interesting the varieties they've come up with. Mm. That's it! <laughs> we hope you enjoy our food adventures. Yeah, it was so fun exploring Guangzhang Market this morning. Um, it was a very interesting gourmet experience for us. Definitely a foodie place. If you like food, um, this is the place to come and try the variety yes. that Korean cuisine has to offer. Um, well, don't forget to click like and, and subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, stay tuned for our next adventures somewhere else. Yeah. See you. Bye-bye.